Here's how to play Fortnite on the school Chromebook. Now you want to go ahead and click on your Chrome browser at the bottom hand side. Now once you're here, just make sure to enlarge it and make sure it's full screen. Now we want to go ahead and type in Chrome space web store. Now go ahead and hit enter and wait for it to load. Now once it loads, make sure to click the one that says chrome.google.com. Click on that one and then wait for it to load as well. I want to go to the search bar and type in keyboard and bring the and sign space and mounts. Hey, don't forget to smash the like, subscribe and bell button and come join my Discord down in the description. For Xbox space X Cloud. Now once you're done, just hit enter and wait for it to load. Now once you're here, you want to select the one that says Modern Kit.1. Just go ahead and click on this very first one. Now once you're here, we can go ahead and click on Add to Chrome and then we can click the Add extension. Now depending on your Chrome Web Store version, you can go ahead and get the same thing as well. Now once it's done, just go ahead and exit out of this main part. Now once you're done with that, all you need to go ahead and do is click on the new tab and type in Xbox and hit enter on that. Now once I've clicked on Xbox, I can go ahead and click the official xbox.com site and then wait for that to load. Now once you, just go ahead and click the sign in button at the top right hand side and then wait for that to load as well. Now once in the interface, go ahead and click on create one. Now once you've clicked on that, go ahead and type your email. We're creating a new account just to make sure that everything goes right. So I'm going to type in my email address and then I'm going to sign in and see you guys on the other side. So now once you're done, just go ahead and click your account and then click on Xbox profile down here or maybe Xbox account. Either of them should lead you to the same place. Now once you're here, all you need to do is go ahead and click the privacy settings. Now once you're here, go ahead and change two things. As you can see, you can use video for communication as on friends. Change that to everyone and scroll all the way to the bottom and click submit and wait for it to be submitted. Now once that is done, we can go all the way back to the top and then click on the Xbox online security part of it. And then make sure that you can play with people outside of Xbox Live is allowed. Now once you make sure that it's allowed, you can also make sure everything is allowed just for safety sake. Click submit and wait for it to be submitted. Last but not the least, you can click on Xbox 360, come all the way down and then just make sure everything here is fine. And once you're done with that, go to the link down in the description, click on my website and then copy this code. Now hit CTRC, come back to your tab, hit CTRV and paste it and hit enter. Now once you hit enter, all you have to do is wait for it to load. Now once you're in this interface, everything is already set for you. Now go ahead and click on set games, you can enlarge it in fact, and then you can go ahead and type in Fortnite. Now it's going to ask you to click on the icon for what we did, so the icon has still not been shown here, we can click on this plugin icon, and then we can go ahead and select the very very icon that we added to our phone, which was keyboard and mouse Xbox X Cloud. Click on the pin sign and it should start to show here. Now click out of this and then click on it so that it should stop showing you. Now I have used it for my trial and my trial is over. However, you don't need to use it for a trial. If you have a gamepad, that will also be much easier. So go ahead and click on the Fortnite game and wait for it to load. And once you just go ahead and click on play. Now depending on when you joined or how many people are playing the game, it's going to give you an amount of time to wait before you can log on to the site. If you have a controller, or you have a touch screen Chromebook, then this is to your advantage. However, if you don't have both of them, I recommend using the Xbox Cloud you know, software. Now, I'll say 45 minutes, so I'll see you guys once that time is over. Now, depending on the time of the day you try to do this, it's going to load up quickly. Now, as you can see, it says Xbox and it's going to load up pretty much quickly. And so it says click to start playing. So I'm going to click on that and I've connected my controller so I can go ahead and link an account I have if I already play Fortnite. Or I can go ahead and hit the box sign since this is a new account just for the sake of this video. And so make sure to read before you continue playing Fortnite. So I'm going to say no thanks because this is a new account. And I'm going to choose my date of birth because it's, it's pretty much a new account that I'm trying to play Fortnite on. So I'm going to do it just random stuff and then I'm going to continue. Now, if you have the keyboard and mouse settings, I'm going to teach you that in just a short while. Now, as you can see, it's logging me in. I have to accept the terms and services, and then it's going to log me into the log. Now, for the sake of this video, I'll just want to skip a lot of parts on these things and just go straight to the lobby. So I'm going to skip this whole cinematic so that I can go back to the lobby. And so we're going to equip all the things and the gift that we're given for Christmas, and then we can go right to the lobby. This is a Lego lobby, so I'm going to go back to the normal battle royale lobby and then this is what it's going to look like now once again i'm going to skip this cinematic because i don't really need to watch it again and so as you can see here is it slashy lamp 03991 
as you, you saw on the Xbox. Account. Now I need you to go ahead and click on your Chrome browser. Once you've clicked on it, just go to your search bar and type in noun.gg and hit enter. Now once it's loaded, all we need to do is go to the place that says search premium games and go ahead and search in Fortnite. Now once we're here, we can go ahead and click on the Fortnite play button right here and wait for that to load as well. Now as you can see, Fortnite is loading on the top right hand side and it's loaded in the background if you can see properly. Now Epic Games is now launching up and as you can see it says connecting, it's going to load me into Fortnite very quickly. Now the difference between this version and the previous version is that this is Android and the previous version was for consoles. So you should pretty much expect an Android or a mobile performance for this one. Now as you can see it says have you played Fortnite before? If so then we can find your account. So I have played Fortnite before and I can go ahead and hit yes find my account. If you haven't just go ahead and hit no. So I'm going to click yes and then log in. So now it says to sign in or to sign up. So I'm going to sign in or sign up and then I'll see you guys on the other side. Now once you've logged in, you should say login in on your home screen. Now as you can see, it says either to select low textures or high textures. Now you can go ahead and select any of them. I would go ahead and select low or high or I'll just go ahead and select low for an example and click continue. Now as you can see, it's playing what happened the previous time for the new season. So I can go ahead and click skip and then I can go ahead and click on battle royale. Once in battle royale, I can go ahead and play. Now with this one, the keyboard is already mapped to everything so you do not need to download any extra softwares like the previous one in order to play with this so i can go ahead and click battle royale and once i'm in battle royale i can go ahead and skip this as well and go ahead and play a game in there so unlike the previous one i can go ahead and tweak my settings just as i want it now once i've applied that i can go ahead and click out of this and then i can go ahead and click on play Make sure to smash the like, subscribe and bell button and come join my Discord down in the description. Don't also forget to leave the comments.